Well, it took me three years of talking about it on YouTube, but I finally put a nice hood on my 1968 Dodge Dart. And of course, it's a Hemi hood. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me again. Man, it's been a while since I've had a full-length video out on YouTube, but if you have been following along with the channel, you've seen a couple shorts I've put out, and I have finally put a Hemi hood on my 1968 Dodge Dart. I talked about doing this way back in like one of the first videos I ever did, like three years ago. So all you subscribers who have always asked about the hood, here it is. I'm absolutely stoked with how this thing came out. Um, it's a full fiberglass with a, with a tall Hemi style scoop. I'm gonna tell you guys all about it, where I got it from, um, the ins and outs of getting this to work because it was not that easy. Shout out to my guy, Frank, who did all the fiberglass work and helped me fit this. He did the paint as well. He knocked it out of the park on this thing. Uh, we also did full trim, hood pins, and of course a nice new GTS badge to set it all off. It looks fantastic, but it's a little hard to show you guys in my tiny garage, so it finally stopped raining out. Let's fire the doors up, get this thing outside, and we'll take a good look at it there. Oh, there's the keys there. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, for you subs, you're going to be seeing this in my next video. Let's fire this bad boy up. Okay, so just got a bit of heat into that motor. Uh, it's a solid roller deal, so I roll the motor around every couple weeks or get it outside to fire it up. So I uh, just need to do that. Great time to show you guys the hood. I actually got the hood done at the end of last season, but like I said, just haven't really uh, had the opportunity to make a YouTube video about it. But let's get into it. So it is a full fiberglass unit from Glass Tech, and that is their tall Hemi scoop. So it does measure here. I got a tape measure for you guys too. Don't scratch the paint, man. So there you go. It's five and a half inches tall at the front. Um, and it's, it's pretty cool, tall at the back too compared to other ones. They give you all the measurements on the site, but it came really nice. The packaging was really nice. I was really happy with Glass Tech when I ordered this. Uh, I talked to them on the phone. They told me three weeks, three weeks, boom, it was here. So they were really prompt to on that. Um, and it, it came really nice, nicely packaged, like no problems with the packaging damage and all that stuff that's happening like crazy right now. It was packaged real well. So um, got it over to my buddy Frank immediately. He started taking a look at it and we had to do a bit of work on it. So the sides and everything were good. Uh, he got to the back though after he did uh, bond the scoop on and we did bolt it as well because this car, you know, we see 120 miles an hour in the quarter, uh, planning to go faster, but it is bolted and bonded on. Uh, after he did that, 
we fit it to the car and it had sunk in the center. So we actually had to raise the center section up. And then this line was not perfect from uh, the factory, I guess. So we had to shave these guys back a little bit in order to fit it. Had to go back and forth to my buddy Frank's place about three times to get it perfect before he put paint to it. So bit of work like and he told me that's pretty standard on all these fiberglass hoods they all need a little bit of work don't think it's just like a bolt on and go kind of scenario if you want them to look decent so really happy with this how this turned out though and we did decide to do a front trim section because it just needed it for the car uh the hood is not really like doesn't really have provisions for that so we had to drill and fit that but again my buddy frank did a great job there same with the GTS logo. Ordered that stuff through, uh, I think year one is where we got that. And that was a nice piece, you know. Again, no problem with shipping or anything like that. Worked out real well. Let's, uh, let's pop the hood, take a look at the underside. Okay, so we're not using the stock style uh, springs for the hanger there. Um, lots of guys say that they overpower the full fiberglass hoods and they'll bow. Uh, I've never used them. My previous hood before I even was doing YouTube as a proper GTS hood and I never had those on for that. So I've never run them and I've always just used this prop rod here and it works out pretty good. So this is the underside and re again, really nice. My buddy Frank just absolutely killed it. And uh, all this was bonded and everything from Glass tech, which was really nice. And they actually even cut the center section out because we ordered the hood and the scoop. You kind of order it separate and then they kind of know what you're doing. So they actually cut that all for us already. But then my buddy Frank, he uh, kind of faced them all in, blocked them all off, finished it all. And then of course, match painted, did a really nice job. And I'll let you guys know too, for clearance issues, I'm running a Super Victor intake inch and a half Wilson. Uh, it's an 850 double pumper Holly. And then I got a three inch cleaner with a flat base. So it'll even sit taller than if you're using like a little bit of a drop base, but a three inch cleaner on there. And I still got plenty of clearance. I could go up another like half inch or so. So if you're wondering about clearance, this thing, it gives you the clearance for sure. And there's just where it's bolted on the underside. And then the stanchions, uh, he, my buddy Frank had those actually. They might've come off of one of my buddy Pete's cars actually. So, hey Pete, thanks for the stanchions, man. And of course we had to add some hood pins for safety and cool factor all around. Yeah. And it shuts like a dream, of course. This side, this one side sits like a tiny bit tall, but I'm I'm not sweating. I still have a little bit of adjustment, so I could actually play with that a little bit. This side's perfect, and the gaps are, are real good. For a race car, doesn't get any better than this, for sure. And it's lightweight. Jeez, what was the weight difference? Uh, you'll have to look that up, I can't remember. But it's a lot lighter than the steel hood I was running, I know that for sure. So yeah, at the end of the day, I would recommend this hood uh, from Glass Tech. It's very nice. I was trying to get through AAR, but apparently they're no longer in business. These guys had the next best reviews, and, and I think the end product uh, speaks for itself. The tall scoop is the way to go. The short one's uh, was stock style from 68. It's only like four inches tall. And this being five and a half, you just get so much more clearance. Looks good. Ready to go racing. I think it's going to rain. Let's get this thing back inside.
Okay, so that is gonna close out this video. Just a quick one for you guys. A little update about the hood. Uh, we got some more videos coming. If you saw that sneak peek earlier, I got some big things coming next year. Stay tuned for all of that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.